Hello and welcome to the devotion for Saturday, May 21st, entitled, Wisdom is Proved Right by Her Actions. Now, as we look at this passage in Matthew 11, Jesus has just talked about the crowds and the religious leaders and everyone around him talking about, no matter what I do, you will not be happy. No matter what I do, you're not going to accept it. And then he gives this contrast. He says in Matthew 11:18 18 and 19, For John the Baptist came neither eating or drinking, but you say he has a demon. The Son of Man comes both eating and drinking, and you say he is a glutton, a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners, but wisdom is proved right by her actions. He speaks of John, who walked pretty much in a Nazarite vow. No alcohol, period. No, uh, a very strict diet uh, in the most uh, stringent of Jewish culture. And they said, yet you reject him. I come eating and drinking with tax collectors and sinners, and you call me a glutton and a drunkard. And yet he goes, wisdom is proved right by our actions. What does he mean by that? He goes, if you look at the fruit of the ministry of what I am doing, you will see life change that is radically altering people who are hurting, broken, wounded, sinful, uh, bitter, dysfunctional, are coming into life and health and wholeness. And he says, if you will look, and when you see that, you can't celebrate or rejoice. Nothing I do will ever help. Now I want you to think about your own life. I never want to be the type of person that when I see people ministering in a way that is creating incredible life change in the people who are hurting and broken and sinful and wounded and go, but I don't like the way that they do that. I don't appreciate or what how do we do that Jesus is looking and going how can you say when life change is happening and people are being radically changed and made healthy and whole and they are following the kingdom how can you look and go but I don't like the method by which that health that wholeness and that love for God is coming and yet we see it all the time we see it today just as Jesus did I know what God has called me to do. And I'm praying that you will know what God has called you to do. That we live out a message that creates life change in people and not be afraid of the fact that some people will never be happy. Some people will never approve. Because we don't stand before people. We stand before God. That's the reason one of my favorite passages in all of scriptures. It says when Jesus was reviled and uh, persecuted, he did not retaliate. He simply trusted his judgment to the one who judged him justly, which was his heavenly father. If we try to make everyone happy, I'll assure you, we will never be following where God will call us to go. If we're only interested in making God happy, we will see life transforming power and wisdom will be proved right by the results, by the actions. Father, give us the courage to live radical lives as you did, to see people radically touched, changed. And God, let us not be afraid of criticism because people will always criticize, but that, Lord, we look for you and that understanding that we are in the center of where you have called us to walk. And we do that faithfully. In Jesus' name, amen. Can you stand before the Lord with pure heart and open hands? If you can, keep walking. I'll see you Sunday morning.